So we're in the middle of something called the bomb cyclone weather event. Not clear you come up with that name or what it means, but here we are. It sent temperatures plunging all over this country. The severe cold has prompted assertions that it is the product of global warming. Claims like that are a recurring theme in American life in recent years. The speed that climate change is happening is caused by humans. Instead of happening on time scales of right. millions of years or let's say 15,000 years, it's happening on the time scale of decades and now years. I should have mentioned climate change as a national security threat because it is. Why then is the Arctic ice shelf melting? Why are the sea levels rising? Why are the hottest temperatures in the last decade uh, essentially the hottest temperatures that we've seen on record. It does seem like climate change is happening faster than we thought in some ways. It seems societally that maybe we're more vulnerable than we thought. The entire North Polar Ice Cap during summer, during some of the summer months could be completely ice free within the next five to seven years. So in case you're keeping track at home, low temperatures are proof of global warming. So are high temperatures, heat waves. Also hurricanes are, but droughts are too. So hot or cold, wet or dry, all of it is proof that human activity is making the climate hotter. The question is, is there any weather phenomenon that doesn't prove global warming? Josh Fox follows us carefully. He's a documentary director and environmental activist, and he joins us. Josh, thanks for coming on. Tucker, it's great to be on again with you. Thank you. You said everything that you just said was true. That was amazing. You, you well, had like I'm, a look, whole I'm run a, there. Look, let me just say at the outset, right. I'm, I'm not here to debate you. I, I don't really know what my position is. I'm open-minded because I believe in science, and I think that okay. evidence ought to lead to conclusion, not the other way well, that's, around. That's but miraculous. I, but, I'm, but why wouldn't I be a little bit confused if... People say that hot temperatures are, the, are a sign of global warming. Now they're saying cold temperatures are, wet conditions are, but also dry conditions. How can that all be true? Again, you're not really stating it correctly. I think what people are saying about the bomb cyclone is it is a similar weather event to a hurricane, which is true. What climate change does as a result of warming is it increases the extreme weather events, right? Extreme cold, extreme, hot, but in this case, we're talking about extreme storms, right? Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Harvey. These were unprecedented and incredibly disastrous events in terms of the climate, and this bomb cyclone is very similar. Now, in the scientific wait, terms, wait, what wait, this wait, means... Wait, hold on, wait, just to stop, and, and I just want to make sure I have this right, and I want to make it clear, you're not a scientist, so be sure not to patronize me, just give me a straight answer. I was told uh, for the last 15 years that global warming, its main result was higher temperatures. So can you see well, why we are confused? Seeing, okay, we are seeing, seeing higher temperatures. So, but yes. if this turns out to be an unusually cold year, and it looks like it may, how no, can that it's also cold be... in New York. It's cold in New York. You're in New York. I'm in Louisiana. And in fact, yesterday I was in St. Thomas where it was 80 degrees. And that's the point. The hurricanes and the cyclones start with a warming Atlantic. When the Atlantic Ocean is warmer, it evaporates more air into the more water into the air. When right. you have more water in the air, more water comes down. So you saw this huge deluge with, with Harvey. You saw all of this wind and rain with Irma and Maria, and now you're seeing huge amounts of snow but, because of uh, the warming the warming temperature in the Caribbean. Wait, but I'm right? confused. You know okay, that so these storms come up from Florida, right? We know that, right? But it was Tucker? just, I'm not sure what we you, know. Because I'm explaining it was to you the science. Now, you, you asked me about science, right? So I'm explaining well, I'm not, to you the science. I don't science. know how much you know about science. I, uh, and I know that I don't know much well, about science. I have science. a map right here of the whole world temperatures, right? Now, you'll okay. see the blue right there. That's North America. That means it's colder than average. But if you look at the rest of the planet, it's warmer than average. That means when you talk about global warming you look at the entire globe okay not just I get new york it. city I, when I it's get like it, oh you can say oh wait, i live in new york city so it's colder in new york city second. that's not an argument that's so why you're we keep saying, records that's why the farmers almanac keeps track i, I, I of, get you know, it but let me just ask things. you a question you're filibustering because i think you're you're fearful of answering a straightforward question so here's one so it was four years ago, the New York Times, in a piece that I remember reading, predicted, I'm quoting, the death of snow because of global warming. Global warming was going to end snow in the United States. Then three years later, we had record snows. That was last winter. And they said, another effect of global warming. 
And and during the same period, they wrote a piece saying that the, the overabundance of ice in Antarctica was a sign of global warming. And then three years later, they say a lack of ice is a result well, of global warming. First of all, what you're saying is absolutely not true. The, well, the it is true. I, have the, I can cite it right clear. here. It's not true, Tucker. It's not true. And listen, let me tell you something. Well, what's the not reason true why about I care it? About, can I tell you the reason why I care about this? No, no, no. I want to get this specific. Mean, I, was I don't want to get I just, spent, I just spent the entire Christmas holiday on St. Thomas, which is a town that well, was, was an now. island that was completely ravaged by Hurricane Maria and Irma. There are people who have no electricity. There are people who have no okay, home. There are people who lost you're loved ones. Over and my the reason question, why people care I, about climate change statement. I is because... I want to be very specific. And your can question you is not my specific Tucker. question. Your question has no basis in science. You're saying, oh, well, we have one article here and one article there. What no, no. I'm trying to point I'm to saying you that are the same global people are making climate contradictory records. Claims. Global climate records. And the reason why I'm on your program right now is because over this last decade, I've been exploring fracking and exploring and investigating climate change. Why? Because I don't want people's children in harm's way. I don't want Josh, our military Josh, now, in harm's way. Josh, now you're way. making James no, Mattis, what the you're doing of is calling this, attention to your own moral virtue. You've century, departed the, science. The Secretary I'm asking of Defense, you specific Mattis, questions. In the Trump administration, believes all of you guys that immediately change. go so when you asked don't a, understand a simple the question. Science. You go to, I'm I, a good person. I care. This, like I asked oh. you the last time, do you oh, understand We're the trying, science behind All right. climate change? Do you it's understand? too frustrating. Thank Tucker. you. You're Tried to get an answer. Couldn't.